Welcome everybody, Mr. Bix here in the LS Car Meet for our vehicle customization video. It's a special viewer request today, so let's get into it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos. Today we are customizing the Declassy Vigero ZX, the hardtop version of course, by viewer requests. It is actually primarily based on in real life. A Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 from 2018. So let's get to customizing. First off, we got to throw on the HSW. HSW, break it up. Bumpers. So let's look at our choices here. A couple different ones. I'm wondering if I want to go as a black secondary or carbon. I think I'm going to go carbon to give it that new feel and look. Uh, throw on a carbon diffuser for the back bumper. Engine up. Exhaust. Uh, I kind of like the exhaust. They fit nicely under the bumper there for the grill. Definitely a lot of choices. I think I went honeycomb on the convertible one. So let's go for a black GT grill for the hood. You know, a bunch of different choices here. Vents, no vents. And let's go for a chrome street hood, I think. Yeah, let's go with the Chrome Street hood. I don't know why there's vanity hoods. They never look good. Headlights. You could go Xenon. Yeah, they look fine. They look good. I'm not going to do neons on this. Liveries will save to the end. Louvers. So in this game, if you put louvers on a car, it kind of makes the back windshield bulletproof. So, I might actually put them on. I'm going to put them on for now. I'm going to do the carbon race louvers, which kind of matches the front grille. We'll leave that right there for now. For the mirrors, we're going to go chrome. Uh, are we going to do... Are we going to do chrome or are we going to do GT chrome? Or chrome GT, excuse me. I think we're just going to do the carbon. Respray we'll come back to for the roof. We're going car. Oh, we're going no forged. Forged carbon looks terrible on this game. And we're gonna go carbon roof that goes all the way back with the carbon that looks kind of nice. For the skirts we are going to do a carbon performance skirt gives us a nice little flare out and fin to match the front for the spoiler we could go carbon here uh actually you know what let's go carbon aftermarket hmm. wait, wait let's see the choices I wish there was, I wish there was like a level in between these two. Like if, like if I could bisect the height of this one, it'd be perfect. Um, so I'm just going to keep it with the aftermarket spoiler then. Well, that's kind of nice, right? It still gets the, do we still get, oh, traction's all the way, all the way up. So, um, hmm. Yeah, let's keep it with that one. Sun strips. No, pass. Suspension. Let's drop it down to a street suspension, I think. I mean, we could go all the way down. Actually, let's go sports suspension. It is a muscle car, so it needs just a little bit of height. Uh, HSW transit up 
HSW turbo it up. For the wheels, these wheels are actually almost identical to their real life counterpart. I really wish Rockstar would program in the ability to color stock wheels. It, it, would, it would mean so much to us who customize cars all the time. Uh, but there is one that comes close and I've used it before. Keep, I keep using it. It is the high five, which comes probably the closest. It actually enables us to see those calipers really good too. So, so for color, we're gonna go. We're gonna go carbon black to match all the carbon. This is actually looking really nice. I kind of like the way it start looking. Let's throw. Oop, not low grip. Let's throw on the bulletproof tires. Uh, do we want to design? Mm, nah, let's skip the design. Windows, let's do a dark smoke. Alright, so for the respray... The primary, let's do... Dark steel looks really nice. Um... I did a blue for the convertible, I believe. Ooh, red looks nice. Oh my goodness, red and carbon looks so good. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of those times. Do I want a deep red? Let's go grace red and let's make the pearlescent. Make the pearlescent a Torino red? No. Oh. Hmm. Let's make it. Uh, let's just keep it the way it is. Actually, it kind of looks good. Actually, this is looking really good right now. So for secondary, let's. What does the secondary do? Does it do anything on the inside? All right, it changes the stitching. So let's make the inside. Let's make the inside that red stitching. Trim color. What does the trim color do? Does this. Uh, let's keep it the graphite. Keep it the same black and red theme, which Black and red is kind of a cheat, I think. So I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's everything. Let's pop on the liveries and get a good look at these white stripes. It actually goes over the carbon, which is kind of cool too. Hmm. I mean, there's some definitely some nice race ones. Could do the white stripes again, but I don't think I don't think the build fits. You know what? I'm gonna skip out on it. So I think we're done here. So let's take it to my official test track. All right, let's get this tested. Car is looking beautiful, but again, red and black is a bit of a cheat. Good peel out. Should have done a wheelie actually. So great speed, obviously, HSW. I think this is one of the top five fastest muscle cars now. At least on next gen. It might be the fastest. I have to look that up. Uh, handles better than most muscle cars, I would say. All right, tw twisty turns is not so good. It's hard to keep it straight and a little more twisty turns. Uh, oof.
that's all right but as far as muscle cars go it actually is pretty decent handling for that the back end kind of wants to kick out on some of these turns but it rolls back in but again the more twisty turns it acts like a muscle car all right let's open it up here all right and cross the line let's wrap up this video so did the classy vigero zx i like this one better than the convertible tell you the truth it's cheaper it gives you just about the same performance i actually think it kind of looks better my only gripe is now that i put the carbon on top the pearlescent kind of bleeds into the carbon which I don't like too much. I'd rather have that clear separation. So that's something in the customization you might want to look out for. This car is definitely great acceleration, great speed, top speed. Handling is a little hit and miss. If you learn it, I think you'll be better at it. Also, this has HSW, so you can use it in the HSW time trials, which it's probably one of the faster ones. And it, from what I've raced with different cars, this is one of the better ones to use for HSW time trials. So that being said, should you pick this car up? Most definitely. This is definitely one for your garage. I know. I I think I I think this is my second one now. It will set you back. I think 1.6 plus the other half mil for HSW. So you're looking around. A two million dollar car which comes in incredibly cheaper than the convertible version if you like this video be sure to smash that like button click the dislike if you didn't but always be sure to subscribe and click the bell for future videos thanks for joining me and i am out